Yeah, push the record button. Sit down, Pat, with your stupid little pants on. Where's your pants say? Those are shorts. Your shorts. Those are your protector light shorts. Mm-hmm. You have really cool merch, by the way. Hey, thank you. That was a that was an interesting switch. Yeah. <laughs> you started so uh, hard. Oh, because of how I was starting. Cause to here don't know what he want to be. His freaking hair is dark brown and his beard is red. I want to read. Are you a mother freaking brunette or are you a ginger? What are you to here? Or are you an everything bagel? <laughs> is that is that a thing? Like your your hair and um beard can be different colors? Yeah. Mine especially, or? Yeah, especially if you dye it. I didn't dye my yeah. hair. That's Which one did you dye? Yeah. He didn't want to be like every other brunette nigga out here, so he was like, you know what? I'm going to put a little auburn in my beard. Ooh, he got a head full of gray hair. I'm sure he does. <laughs> that was some uh, nice nails, Meg. Do, uh, did the Deltas know you trying to hop ship? Ooh. Jump to the AKs? That's not, that's yellow. That's a, that's yep. AKA. Yellow right? and pink. Oh, shit. AKAs that's... are green and pink. That's a good point. She had played. Look like a highlight. Yeah, that's, was... that's exactly why your hair is two different tones. <laughs> I'm colorblind. Mm-hmm. Yes. Meg plays <laughs> Sherbert. Sherbert. <laughs> <laughs> how do you, wait? How are you supposed to say it again, Sherbert? Sherbert. It? No, it's Sherbet. not. Spelled, it's not spelled Sherbert. It's spelled S H. S H E B E R T Shibert. Shibert. Sorbet. Look yeah. it up. It's spelled, it's not two R's in Sherbert. Yeah. It's one R. Like Sherbet. S H E R B E. That's it. Sherbet. Cool bear. No, it's oh, it is spelled Sherbet. Oh, it is Sherbet. Sherbet. Wait, there's no H at all. Yes, there is. And Sherbet. It's S O. You spell it three ways: S O R B E T S H. That's sorbet. That's phonetically. That's no, sorbet. Wait, are there differences? I think so. You gotta, you gotta look at the uh, the German pronunciation. German sorbet versus sherbet. Yes, they are different. Mm. Okay, so sorbet, sorbet contains... has no dairy in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just made with fruit. Sherbet, S H E R. Sherbet E E T is made with fruit and dairy. Mm -hmm. No, I just thought about this. What if it's supposed to be sorbet and sherbet? Sherbet. Sherbet. Right. No, I'm no, I'm what? saying because of how it's spelled. We say sherbet. Sure, sure, we get it. Sherbet. Sure, yeah. Okay. Yeah, whatever you say. I think honey. it's supposed to be sherbet, y'all. We've mm -hmm. been saying this wrong our whole lives and our grannies. Let me oh, tell you something. Let me tell you something. I don't care. The people at the grocery store don't care. <laughs> Even the makers of Sherbet don't care. Okay. As long as the money keeps coming in, them folks don't give not a damn what you call it. Is there a difference between Sherbert and uh yogurt ice cream? Yes. Yeah. Like are you what, talking about like Froyo? Yogurt, yogurt yeah, like, yo yeah, like yogurt land. Yeah, frozen because yogurt? that's just frozen yogurt. Yeah, because frozen yogurt can contain fruit or not, but sherbet contains fruit. And for dairy. And dairy. And dairy. Oh, yeah. so it might be similar. Because I've no, had, no, no. I had no, fruity no. yogurt land. That's what I'm saying. That's like, but but frozen yogurt is doesn't have to have the fruit. But yeah, sherbet like always has to have the fruit. Like a vanilla frozen yogurt. I can't call it sherbet. I feel so stupid. What is What's frozen sherbet? yogurt? Mm. So there's a difference between yogurt like like parfait was it was it uh what's the the, the little cans you put the strawberry in? parfait from like yeah. KFC yeah no yeah but there's a difference between that and and actually yogurt land yeah well strawberry parfait was just cake and like strawberry mix or something didn't have whipped cream like activia you know what I'm saying that type of yogurt oh that's just uh, like regular yogurt that's just like to help with your digestion so how do you get from there to frozen is this, is that frozen to make it yogurt you yogurt freeze lake? it you add more milk or something and you freeze it it something says it's a frozen and then say or something it's a frozen <laughs> product containing the same basic ingredients as ice cream but it contains live bacterial cultures mm, good good that's how you that's, sell it. that's disgusting that's <laughs> no that's what that's like probiotic 
probiotics. Like, you know, yeah. yo yogurt has probiotics. That's what that yeah. is. Bacteria. Technically. And it's lower in fat because they use milk instead of cream. That is true. Uh, mm. This is the oldest opening combo we've had ever. <laughs> Niggas is just up here like that's Meg's what's fault. Gonna help me, what's gonna help keep me regular? Dion trying to pose it like he asking questions. Nigga, you do this on your own time with your old ass digestive tract. <laughs> right, that did sound hella old talking about some uh, fiber. Now, which one of these got the most fiber content? Hey, we started off Dion talking about like y'all hair turned gray. Y'all, y'all gonna color it back, nigga. Shut up. That's a hair conversation. This is my therapy, nigga. This. I need this. You, you can't. You can't. I cancel my therapy session for this. <laughs> hey, what I happens to bald heads when they get older? They're still bald. Yeah, but I know they don't. They can't turn gray. But do they get spots? Do they get like wrinkly? What is, what's an old bald head look like? Because Michael Jordan's bald head didn't age. I don't think. He's not, I, most still still grow hair. Age? You don't you don't completely drop out of hair. Like I, I can still grow hair. It grows hey, hair. Hey Pat, are you balding right here? No. We would never know. Why not? I see, I, I I wear my hair down. I'm if not you bald, start balding, would you, you cut it, the, Pat, you or do you keep, keep it up? Burnt. If I start thinning or balding, I'm gonna right here. rely on I want I want to rely on science. <laughs> I hope I'm hoping that science by that time will have something for me. But what if it's just right here? Would you like always do the bun to cover it? You would have to. I guess I would have to. That would be. Yeah. Trash. Now, what if you start getting the cul-de-sac though? What you gonna do? What's that? When like, it's like this, the George Audrey, Jefferson. Yeah. Oh, uh, cul-de-sac with dreads? That'd be tight. <laughs> <laughs> I'd wear, I could finally wear hats. <laughs> that's 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 what uh Chico Big did. He, he, yeah. he embraced his. He still got his braided. He he got a braid. He got the wait. How do you outside. braid with a cul de sac? Braid around that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Braid the yard. Black men don't appreciate the 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 George Jefferson like in 2023. White men do it with confidence. Yeah. No, yeah, they right. don't because they do a comb over. Not all. No, sometimes they just wear a hat. Yeah, Patrick Stewart rocked that that cul-de-sac for years on Star Trek, bro. He was just like, "This is what it is. You gonna take it? When you that got a stir true. in front of your name, you could do shit like that." They really don't care about the cul-de-sac. It'll no, be no, no. Wait, but why is it so? Okay, as black men, why does that bother y'all so much? Like, right white men don't care. It's power in your hair. That's your mane. It's like a Tempting. lion. So it's then, if your hair is gone, then you're no longer powerful. Nah, but you can't be like in in and out. That's like running in and out of your mama's house. You either got to cut it off or, or, or <laughs> grow it back. You can't be in between the streets. One foot out, one foot in. Get yeah. your ass. You got to make a decision. Why? Because you either going to be bearded and, and strong or you're going to have hair and be strong. But you can't be holding on to shit now. You trying to hold nah. on. To what if yours you. does the... Okay, what if you start the balding back here to here? What are you going to do? Just cut it all off? I'll be Jewish yeah. and just have like a little yarmulke right there. <laughs> and you could join another religion. I say, I say we just stop the shaming and 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 embrace the cul-de-sac and the yeah. Black but you gotta have it. money to do that. You gotta have money, like nigga. You know what I'm working with. Like you can climb all you want. You can climb all you want. You know what I got. Mm -hmm. Why? Because those, those, those are the white dudes that don't care about the cul-de-sac. Yeah. Oh, because they have money. But what you guys are so weird because. I feel like women, yes. Do women care about looks? Yeah, but if they, you start growing a beard, would you keep? Would you keep it? If Ooh. I got, if I was growing Ooh. a beard, you Meg, yeah. Would you? Yeah, if, if yeah it, it would be lined up for real. Okay, my Meg, stuff don't lie. Baby, I sat next to you for three up. years at all depth. I saw you in the morning. And you saw me every day. Do I that. I saw you in the morning, the picking your beard, trying to get those little chin hairs out. Be so. Don't act like you would embrace. Yeah, the me. wise ones. Yes, I would. I, I don't lie. I was in meetings like this, talking to y'all all the time. Like, okay, so on Tuesday, okay. we you don't remember that? I used to do that. I pretend I had a mustache. You've been spending too much time with your kids. Your jokes I'm still going to, first of all, I'm going to still be fine with a beard. <laughs> so you can get out of here and it's going to be lined up. You've been Ain't nobody going to be buying you no drink with that thick ass beard. Yes, they are. Crazy as hell. I feel like bearded women are going to be in style in a little bit because I feel like the, the armpit women are starting to be like, hey, oh, I'm yeah. going to shave my armpits. What's happening? Yeah. yeah. So I, I see the like armpits and the legs. They're going, they going, they going hand with it. Y'all care about that? 
Hell yeah, I care about that. I had an argument the other day about that shit. It's like, dog, what's wrong with women, man? <laughs> a random woman or your armpits? No, I am I not. De- I mean, my I don't like my armpits being hairy, but I am not defined by my armpit hair. Yeah, you are. First of all, first of all, you look good, man. I like your hair. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I see. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah, for real. Your hair big as hell with the small hair. I thought it was all curly hair, but oh, I should lay it down. That's, yeah, that's very nice. nice. That was Pretty a nice. But look, it's it's a commercial yeah. going on where a girl walk around with a mustache and it's like thick as hell. Yeah. And it's like, bitch, you want to fight or something? Like, why you got this big ass? What if it's no? Because a lot of times it might be a hormonal imbalance. Sure, that's what, exactly what it is. What? It's like, bitch, you want to fight or something? Hey, nigga, what's wrong with you, bro? <laughs> Just saying, like, what's up with this mustache? Is you holding the door? Is you driving or something? What's going on with the mustache? <laughs> driving. <laughs> what does driving got to do with mustache? Driving. <laughs> what? That's a that's a hard that's a hard uh, sale, man. You got your girl. She got a full beard. Like, yo, that's your girl. What, what's going on? You like, what's wrong? What you mean? What's going on? That, Why are you worried about what other people think? What if she's the sweetest, most amazing person to you, and she is like everything you've ever wanted in a woman, besides the mustache? I'm, I'm talking like, like a, I'm still gonna think she's gonna steal my wallet. I'm sounds gonna like a good friend. I'm gonna get I'm up talking and like James and Harden, yo. I'm talking like with a, that with a piece that. of Gorilla Glue duct tape, and I'm gonna just hush <laughs> up. And she's gonna be like, "What are you? Are you embarrassing me in front of my friends?" <laughs> Uh, that would that would just be the home girl. <laughs> That's my dog. That's my dog with the master splinter lip. I can't do it. You gotta draw the line somewhere, and I draw it right here. What about armpits? <laughs> what about? I draw it right here. I draw Look, it right here, here, young lady. Wait, what about like hairy armpits and hairy legs? I don't like hairy legs because I don't like how they feel, but. You know how you, yeah. when you having sex, you can feel like hairy legs, it's like, ugh, but. That's not really hairy. That's like prickly, like in between yeah. shaves. She means yeah, like yeah, hairy, yeah. like yours. I, I, don't, I don't particularly care for it. I got a, I, mean, I, I went never, to Massage Envy one time and um, got a massage and they, when I, when I set the appointment, it was like, oh, we're going to put you with Gail. And of course I'm like, all right, Gail, you know, she going to get it in, whatever. Gail was short for. Galleon or something like that. Gilbert. Big uh, Russian. Big Armenian muscular dude that came in, right? And he gave me a massage and he had the longest arm hair. And I felt every fucking blade of hair <laughs> when he was massaging my back, right? Really? And then he had just eaten, I think I told this before, he had just eaten like a Reese's peanut butter cup. So oh, when he yeah. got close to my head and he's doing this on my shoulders and he's breathing through his mouth, I got all the whiffs of that Reese's peanut butter cup. And I was mm-hmm. like, I'm taking this uh, portion out of the, the uh, squad cast and it's like, what is to hear talking about? <laughs> <laughs> well, he was on my back. And I, <laughs> like, but I when you it. saw him walk up, you had a choice to be like, I'm okay today. Bro, like, I was already, no, no, no. When you go in the room, they walk you in the room. Somebody walks you in the room. It's a different person that walks you in the room. They tell you, you can just roll and they get yeah. under the seat and then you put your face face down. I didn't know it was a guy. I'm face down. My 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 face is on the thing right here. I didn't know it was a guy until he was yeah. like. Oh, you that probably was the little. best massage you ever had, wasn't it? It, it no. wasn't bad. I ain't gonna hold you. It, was, it, it wasn't bad. <laughs> it wasn't bad. You should have got your little freckled ass up and left. Like, I'm sorry, I think I'm in the wrong room. I apologize. Nothing oh, no, no, good for you to hear because you didn't let your toxic masculinity keep you from getting the best massage you ever had in your life. Wasn't <laughs> nothing gay about that. It was okay for you to get a massage by a man. I mean, I mean oh, fuck all that. Not 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 smelling his last snack. Shut up with you and your that was that was butter and hair right there. The smell because I'm big on smell, so it's just like nigga, I. I like peanut butter sandwiches, but I don't eat like Reese's. So I don't like peanut butter and, and chocolate together. And that that mm. will. Wait, did you ask him? How do you know exactly what it was? Nigga, I know. You know the smell <laughs> of a Reese's. Hey, can you I ask you something? Hey, Reese's. Gail, can I ask you something? Is that Reese's Pieces or Reese's Cup? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, how did you know? I had that two days ago. <laughs> 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 I'm smelling hints of Reese. Uh, <laughs> just the hairs. I remember feeling the hairs on my back. And my back ain't got no hair like that. And it was just like, I felt yeah. every blade just. 
That is true because I, I usually request uh, male masseuses because they have more pressure. They put more pressure on you. But that is true. They be having the hair and you do feel every single hair. That part's not fun. The massages that I've got that have been the like the most painful and the most deep tissue massages, they have all come from women, though. I get a lot of Thai massages and when they stand Strong on as your hell. back, they holding on the rail of the ceiling. They just standing on your back. As a guy, you don't want to say, oh, that's too much. So I just like, I just... You just power through it. They'd be like, "Is the pressure that's okay?" Fine. You're like, "Yeah." You gotta be like, "Damn, like, take the ice skates off." <laughs> You'd be like, "Is that too much?" I'm like, "No, no, we're good. Uh -huh. We're good." I'm bleeding from my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Face is red. Hey, has anybody <laughs> ever massaged your armpits? No, no. you stay out of there. Get out of there. It hurts. Yeah, I'm molested, Pat. It hurts. <laughs> no, no. If you if you sleep on your side, because I sleep on one side, uh, there's a whole bunch of tension, and it hurts like hell. But afterwards, it's it's crazy different. Uh -uh. I, 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 I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm too ticklish for that. Yeah. It's not your armpit itself. It's like the little the muscle like right behind it. That shit hurt like hell. But if you sleep on your side, you should. The get question that. is, is they say you do you supposed to take all your clothes off when you get them full body massage? Hey, I be keeping my drawers. Why, on. why, why, Dion? They told you to keep all your clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> they gave the nigga Dion a snowsuit. They was like, "Go ahead and change it to this." Oh, like, right, just lift God. your shirt up. <laughs> <laughs> just lift your shirt up in the back. Damn. <laughs> hey, like, why don't you tuck your undershirt in, please, so it's smooth, and we will we'll go. We will go from there. Hey, just, <laughs> keep your wife beater on, sir. They made them get dressed, and they still put the sheet over them. They really <laughs> didn't want to test this thing. <laughs> that sucks. That they would like be a dead body for the for the forensic. <laughs> they said they lift the sheet up. Okay, yeah. So, I, I, I did it, and then uh, my my uh, my girl was getting massaged. She's like, "You don't want to take your pants off?" Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. I just thought. Your pants thought yeah, if you get a full body, like your, your pants were your pants off, you just don't take your underwear off. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I've, I I've been to one where they, they you could they tell you to take everything off. Yeah. And how Wait, high? And how high? Is, that in, was a that was a whorehouse to hear. <laughs> yeah. I kind of thought that. I'm like to hear, stop saying stuff, man. I, I wouldn't want that. Yeah, they, they lick your balls in your ass. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I thought it might have been because she when she was massaging, was because you turn over at some point like halfway through you they they have you turn over and she was massaging my thigh. She kept hitting the shaft and the yeah. Thing, here we go. What is uh, I didn't, I didn't pay for this. I Look felt that up. thumb. I felt the thumb going. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, that's that's the Swedish. Yeah, like stop <laughs> grazing it, Shouty. Now stop, stop grazing it. Hello. <laughs> Wait, when you said you had pants on, you mean like you had like jeans? No, no, like drawers. But oh, yeah. oh, oh, Wait, yeah. you took your drawers off or you left them? I on? was completely naked. They were like, "No, no, you're supposed to keep those on." Why, why would you? Why would you do that? No, you like, thought I'm you thought... was at the same whorehouse the here went to. That's yeah, not... absolutely, absolutely. Here said y'all be opening their ass. How you go my ass? <laughs> I can't open my ass. See, with my drawers. Like, you always take it too far. You always take it too far. That's <laughs> what you do. Ass. I thought it was about my ass was gonna go. You supposed to leave your drawers <laughs> on, Dion. But also, how <laughs> high? How for women? When they massage, where does where do they stop at around the here? This area, they stop like right here. So if the boobs down here, they this is where they stop. But this like right here, uh, if you ever got massage on your chest, it feels so good. But if you got an egg cup, they that's don't right there. Your, they don't get to your nipples or nothing. <laughs> if you got an egg cup, it's there. You no, they it. it's it's above where your nipple like it's it's they're not in the nipple region. So it what if you have high nipples? nipples? Right. I was just thinking that. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, you, have have to remember, you have to remember. You have to remember. There's a sheet. There's a sheet. <laughs> but you're covering wherever your nipples are, so they exactly above the sheet. So they would have to pull it up, and they might yeah. graze it during the shoulder massage. You then now you got a lot. Whose nipples are that high? Hey, Pat? some girl got them damn planetarium titties. When they can sit back, them titties is like that's. Fine, but they still covered with a sheet. You're never seen cock out nipples. Movie. Bad the IMAX. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, guy. this is uh, as good a spot as any for us to jump into today's first topic, man. Want to give a shout out to Dion Lack coming on, special guest, man. Appreciate you being here, brother. And then we got the OG squad here. We got Meg Scoop, we got Patrick Cloud, CP, and of course, I'm to hear more. We're gonna jump right into this first topic right after this. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. 
let's talk about sex. Guys, shouldn't you always be at your best? Hmm? 2023 is a year to maximize your performance in the bedroom. Listen up. BlueChew.com. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets and at the fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever the opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. They say there's nothing sexier than confidence, and Blue Chew can help give you confidence where it counts. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at BlueChew.com. Chew it and do it. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, at checkout. Just pay $5 for shipping, all right? That's BlueChew.com, promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information, and we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. All right, this first topic comes from Grace Tardiff. Thank you, Grace, so much for this topic. We have paper straws forever versus one ply toilet tissue forever. Easy. Paper one straw. Ply. One ply. What? Bro. Yeah, one ply. You could double up the ply to make it as fucking five ply if you want to, but a paper That's straw, hard. you have 30 seconds to drink your goddamn <laughs> drink before it turns into a damn napkin soup. You can't know, duh. <laughs> I'll I'll switch over to the just sipping out of the cup. I hate one ply. Yeah. I but, hate but that's the ply. thing with one ply, you just will just double the amount of toilet tissue that you use. I and, made a video a one time about one ply uh toilet tissue and just cheap toilet tissue and you know, and I had rented an Airbnb, I think like two days later. And the guy did his research on me. He went to my page. He's like, hey, the place is already. And I made sure I got you three-ply toilet tissue as well. It was the funniest <laughs> shit. But I'm serious about the toilet tissue. I don't play about that shit. That's something like, I I, I will leave and go get my own toilet tissue if the, if the Man, shit's wow. not up to standards. Did, did he say why don't he, you, I don't he, understand why you just don't put multiple, use more of it. I just, you shouldn't have to. You shouldn't have to do. So all you would that. rather go inconvenience yourself and go all the way to the store to get some regular toilet it's tissue. Quality. Listen, I, we've done it before. I don't like Scotts. Scotts that thin ass, yeah, to take safe ass toilet tissue. That shit's trash, bro. Listen, well, listen. We had an apartment where, um, like when I, me and my wife first got our first place, whatever, we had our kid where the plumbing was so bad, you could really only use one ply paper because everything would be clogging up in that shit. Ah, damn. And so we started getting Scott, and I just got used to it. And like, I used to fucking wrap my hand like a mummy and just be ready to go. You know what I'm saying? Like, in this, but paper straw. My thing is, you if you're using that much, to use as much as you're going to need to, to feel safe and comfortable wiping your ass, you're going to run through that toilet tissue. You're going to run through it, especially with young kids. I remember when my, my, when the kid first moved out here with me, I was already on the, like, the Charmin, and I had the two and three ply, the thick joint, and she was going through rolls of toilet tissue. Like, <laughs> like she, one weekend, she went through three rolls. I think I told you about this, man. I was like, how the fuck are you going through three rolls of toilet tissue? You one wait. weekend? One weekend, bro. She was wrapping it like, like a mummy. And I'm like, you don't have to do this with this toilet paper. Because I think Farron and them, they were using Char I mean, uh, Scott's back back in the Il Illinois. And I was like, you don't have to do that, Charlie. Like, she was she was going through the tissue. But, e but either you're going to use double the amount of toilet tissue or you're going to use double the amount of straws. Because how uncomfortable is it during a meal? You have to change your straw out two, three, four times. Bro, you ain't even I, there that long. I'm with Pat. I'm drinking out of the cup. Yeah. Ew. Uh all the Yo, people that I, rub their lip on the rim of the cup, ew. Ninety percent of the cups I drink out of are at my house. I, like you, you really drink out no, outside but of that your house every the now option. and then. That wasn't how the how option. often do people drink straws? 
Ugh, what is that? A husky smoothie? <laughs> that's, a smoothie. That's, a smoothie. that's an in and out smoothie. It's got that was a little cheeseburger <laughs> McFlurry, wasn't it? It's a Burger double McFlurry? double smoothie. <laughs> What's that? A fish sandwich? It's a uh, smoothie. <laughs> but look, but look, here go the thing. I bought some straws the other day because I like straws at the crib. I just I like straws, bro. Like Dion, I like straws. Wait, do you put it in between your gap? No, they don't. They don't fit, man. Oh, sorry. That seems like a fun thing to do. If it was like a box juice straw, then I do have a, a slight holder where I do it like a joint and put the apple juice right there when I'm playing the game. It does work. Juice got little ridges on it. it you can, can sip hang. and smile yeah. at the same Whatever. time. Right, sip and smile. Yeah, thank you for that. Okay, I appreciate that. That's my new record label. Sip and smile. <laughs> sip and smile but look, record. But look, I ordered some straws and I didn't think to this is Canada. Everybody got paper straws. They got the fucking paper flexi straws. I just Whoa. knew getting the flexi straw it would be plastic. These motherfuckers yeah. are straight up paper, and I just I can't. It's like drinking I out of paper. Heard that? I didn't know that was possible. Hold on, yeah. they got Turn turtles, yo. technological feats in Canada. <laughs> straws are trash, but it's like even when they're soggy and wet, they suck. But they. They still work like yeah. no, they don't. They do not. At the at that point, it's just disgusting because they don't even. It's hard to like drink out of. Oh, look at Canada caring about the earth. Look at this shit. Oh wow! Um, wow, that's cool. Give us a bend, or you don't want to waste one. Uh, I'm wasting all these. <laughs> <laughs> if I did coke, these bitches would be gone right now. I, don't, I would not drink out of these bitches at all. Coke with a bendy straw? Yeah. <laughs> Coke with a crazy straw would be wild as hell. Can you imagine having a bendy straw trying to do other niggas Coke at the club? Yeah, I hear y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what if we put out a crazy straw while somebody's doing Coke? It's, it's got all the loot. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> the no Boy, take a minute. Snip. You'd be like... Woo! <laughs> it's gotta go. All that shit... I like to take the coke on a trip before I go on a trip. Oh, uh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Crazy coke. <laughs> it's like purple. <laughs> hey, we should come out with some coke straws that like light up and do a bunch of stuff. <laughs> like it's too much. Like that's, the beer things right here. You got a coke right here, and it goes right here in the other straws. And it... <laughs> when, when you at the game, <laughs> like a camel pack. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about like the back. <laughs> a coke pack. <laughs> Sir, the game ended 20 minutes ago. Yeah! <laughs> You're supposed to be inhaling it in your mouth, not your nose, sir. Huh? Uh, what? <laughs> That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Your teeth are falling there. out. And hey, that would make for some you, crazy you really cross country sell racing. that shit because they still sell like the little bulbs for like people who smoke rock and shit like that. Like you go to any one of the uh, stores downtown LA. And they sell the shit that people smoke crack in. It's like, how is it legal? Called a stem. It's a it's Wait, a can you can you smoke weed out of those? No, nah, not nah, really. This is a no. glass bowl, man. Man, you drop the the crack inside, and then you light that shit. Is there any it's other not, purpose it's for not, that? Uh, huh? Is there any other purpose for crack? crack yeah, part? you could you could you could smoke. Uh, oh no, you can't. Meth. You can do meth. Heroin. Wow, that's crazy that they can be mass produced, and the only thing that you can do is smoke crack out of them. But they're they're legal. You can't Look do crack. America don't want to fix the drug pipe. problem. Who like makes who problem. makes the dime size Ziploc bags? Like for what? Those are not always just for for that. <laughs> no, what else though? Because well, I I've seen them sometimes for like when you go on Etsy and you order. Let's say you you're a crafter and you have different like um what is it like the, the diamonds. You can put them on shirts, buttons. you can put them on nails. I've seen them with but- or like buttons. Little extra buttons. buttons, but like you have a bunch of little like like just little crystals yeah, yeah, or whatever yeah, that you yeah. put but on your nails. Crack funded all of that shit. Crack funded <laughs> like the mass production of the little baggies. It was crack. Nobody had little baggies before crack. Niggas wasn't putting weed Where in Where did the baggies the come ends. from? They was using the ends of sandwich bags. They weren't using the, the little baggy system was funded all by crack cocaine, man. I'm telling Dude, you. like this. Uh, yeah, so that's where that bad. came from. Look, it's pure. Yeah. It's that is pure. crazy. There's a lot of products that are only for drug use that are just 
legally making hella money. <laughs> hey, one thing I learned back in the day, McDonald's had this little straw that they used to use for their coffee. Famous. I don't know if y'all yeah. remember the, the, yeah, little I know. the double, straw. the double one. They had the double one. Right, but the but the single one is exactly a gram of coke if you put the put a spoonful and cut the like the top off. So like those straws, they stopped making them because that was like the thing. It was perfect for measuring coke. Do you get the the little straw? Look it up. Yep, that was I like don't get it. That was considered straw. Oh, you talking about the the coffee stir, not the one that you could like drink. My out bad, of. my it's bad, like, my bad. I ain't say yeah. straw. My bad. I meant spoon. It's a tiny little yeah. spoon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And you yeah. would scoop it in the spoon. The spoon was exactly a gram of coke. But you could just shave off the top, and that spoonful was exactly. And wait, but then wouldn't it be a gram for anything else that you measure? Nah, I don't know. I think it's just the coke. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. Not stop I mean, yeah, but ain't nobody <laughs> ain't nobody using that to measure flour when they making pancakes though. <laughs> what about what about coffee? <laughs> <laughs> you I think the beans that. is way different. I don't know. I'm not sure. I, 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 I haven't coped. You know what I'm saying? All I know is that <laughs> this was like the McDonald's straw is a real thing for like players. They even got like gold ones. Like guys would get a gold one made. Like the McDonald's straw is like a huge like paraphernalia thing. Look it up. I, I would not cap y'all a lot on the internet. I saw yeah. that uh, on, in the 70s, niggas used to wear <laughs> necklaces with tiny spoons on them. Mm-hmm. Which is really, really like out there with your with your coke addiction. Yeah. <laughs> it's like hey, you down. literally I'm just dig it in the baggie, shit. dig the little spoon in the baggie, and then take the bump right up to your nose. I had a home. <laughs> I know somebody <laughs> that used to have a little pouch around their neck, and they would just the the pouch had like the thing in there for it to do the bumps with it. It wasn't like a spoon though; it was just like a like a like a thin surface type of. Little small little thing right here, but it was inside the pouch. She just bring that out, boom to the nose, and she keep it going. Did you know your I mean? homie have freckles and a multicolored beard? Damn, that wasn't me, Nick. I'm <laughs> trying. If I was on, if I was doing coke, I'd be way smaller. Trust to believe, <laughs> way smaller. That shit. That shit. <laughs> hey, are there funny? There's fat I'm people on coke though, for too, anything. right? Yeah, yeah. Wait, why does That's coke make you fatter? Thought- Huh? Wait, what it what is it yeah, about coke that makes you skinny? Like you're just not hungry? Keeps you busy. Oh, oh. I, what day is it? I forgot to eat today. Yeah. Mm. But everybody that I've talked to that that has done coke or do coke, they say that it only lasts like the 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 run is like 20, 30 minutes, and then you gotta re up. Well, gotta keep not... getting getting hits. Oh, gotta keep doing bumps. That's why niggas start selling their shit. <laughs> that's not that's not long enough. <laughs> and that's how people get on crack because niggas, crack is niggas start doing coke cheaper. at eight by nine. He's out of it. He was like, ah, I don't even be watching this TV like that. I don't even I don't even need to. <laughs> <laughs> that's wild. <laughs> like making deals with yourself. Do I need this fridge? <laughs> I'm always doing coke. All, I'm not hungry. <laughs> I don't need all these right shoes. I can sell some of these right shoes. <laughs> I don't even need this vagina no more. Let me go ahead and sell this too. (laughs) Was that person a woman or were they saying, let me sell my wife? (laughs) Take it how you will. You you never know. (laughs) Um, So let's put it to a vote. We go on paper straws or go on one ply toilet tissue. Wait, which one's worse or which one do you rather have? Which one? Yeah, which one do you rather have forever? Paper straws. One ply toilet tissue. One ply. Y'all tripping. One of these has to do with shit. <laughs> you just use more. Happening. That means I'm going to be paying more, but and, I hate paper and straws. Sinks, rather... Water and soap still exist, too. Yeah, on a bidet. Dion, yeah, you, too. Just, you just sealed the deal of me never shaking your hand again. <laughs> yeah, why you need... That was, that was a contingency plan, yo. No, 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 no. I'm going with paper straws, bro. Give me some real to- toilet tissue. I'm good. I- I'll, t- I'll take it. Soak your booty because you don't got three ply toilet tissue. <laughs> you have to wash your whole ass. That's cleaner. I shit entirely too much to be out here playing with it, bro. I'm good. Give me the straws forever. Would you rather wipe your ass with paper straws or uh, one ply toilet paper? All right, all right, CP. What was your vote? What was your vote? So we can move on. <laughs> Give me the one ply. I'm not fucking with them straws, bro. Yeah, hey. one ply. What All up, right, Scott? The, the one ply toilet tissue gets it on that one. We're going to move on to this next topic right after this.
It's springtime and you know you need some nutritious and convenient meals to energize your day and to keep you on track to reaching your goals. That's why you need Factor, America's number one ready to eat meal kit. They help you fuel up fast with the ready to eat meals delivered straight to your door. Save on time and you eat well. You'll be able to tackle everything on your to-do list. And I mean everything because these meals only take two minutes to prep and they're never frozen. All you gotta do is heat those bad boys up. Simple. Then you're out and about enjoying the rest of your day. If you need calorie conscious options, they got you. They got calorie smart options with around or less than 550 calories per serving. They have so many options for your variety of lifestyles. I'm talking about from keto to calorie smart to vegan, veggie, protein plus, they have them all. And your boy got that protein plus. I crushed that mortuary spinach chicken. Let me tell you something, 48 grams of protein in that thing, 48. I'm gonna be out here looking, <laughs> ooh, buff. And they doing some smoothies. Ah, that mango, that mango was fire. These meals are prepared by over 35 chefs and approved by dietitians. So these meals are going to have the ingredients you need to feel satisfied all day. And they always have something new to try. Plus you can always round out your meals and replenish your snack supply with an assortment of over 45 add-ons, including breakfast like egg bites, smoothies, and more. If you want to cut back on takeout, get Factor. All right, not only is Factor cheaper than takeout, but meals are ready faster than restaurant delivery. In just two minutes, like I said before, with Factor, you can rest assured you're making a sustainable choice, all right? They all set 100 of their delivery emissions to your door, all right? Sourced with 100% renewable electricity for all their production sites and offices and feature sustainability source seafood in their meals. So head to Factor Meals dot com slash squad 50 and use the code squad 50 to get 50 percent off your first box all right that's code squad 50 s q u a d d five zero at factor meals dot com slash squad 50 to get 50 percent off your first box next topic of the day we have would you rather cure cancer for free versus make it significantly better and get rich by the make it significantly better, like whatever the trials are, whatever the uh, the um, the procedures, the medicine, everything, you make that process way easier or you find a way to make it significantly better, but you haven't cured it yet, you get rich from that or find a cure and give it away to the people for free. It's easy. <clears throat> I give it away for free because I feel like that 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 type of guilt will make you not enjoy your money. <laughs> yeah. You just wake up every day and walk past the you put your coffee mug on the cure for cancer and just read like I, I feel like that that guilt would 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 catch up. Well, Plus, no, no, no. So like if you take the second scenario, you have you just haven't discovered the cure yet, but you discovered a way to make like let's say the radiation treatments better or make it, it to shorten the length of that or something like that. You make the process of getting treatment significantly better, but you wait. So the but the cured. person doesn't get cured. No, no. Wait. You just like like back in the medieval times when you know you would get sick and they didn't know that you needed um what is it chemo. Uh, not not chemo, like uh, just any pills in the medicine, like before me mo modern Aspirin. medicine. Antibiotics. Antibiotics. Let's just say that. You come out with a new antibiotic that makes it easier to get treatment and you can discover it and detection is faster and all that type of stuff, but you haven't figured out the cure yet. Instead of chemo, it would be like a pill. And it will start that. But, it, but it's helping. Yeah. It's helping. Oh, I would do that because the other way, I'm a conspiracy theorist. You mess around and get killed by somebody. You you just drop the 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 cure for everything and then neither one of these you get killed in. That yeah, was not a caveat. They'll still kill you. They'll still kill you. Hey nigga, you I'm the creator. I'm the creator of chemo. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kill your ass. Non chemo. Oh, my brother. The creator of chemo. No, nah, I'm 
I'm not messing with that. You you mess around and uh, and uh, crumble multiple billion dollar businesses for free. Absolutely, I'm taking them all down. Walk I'm around, taking walk Big away. Pharma down. Take my life. I'm I'm taking Big Pharma down because there's been too many people. Because to be honest with you, I feel like there is a cure for cancer, but then these people do not profit off of that, so they keep that to themselves, yeah. and that is selfish. And you don't answer to God for that. You're going to hell for that because there's so many people whose lives could have been way better. People mm. who did not have to die as soon as they did. People losing moms, dad. dad. There's babies that have leukemia that yeah. die, and you over here with the cure, and you didn't give it to them. Because but you don't you have the cure. No, I'm saying, I'm saying that's the situation. I feel like this is already a situation. Oh yeah, you got babies with cancer, and you are gonna sit here and be like, yeah. I'm gonna give them I don't a think pill though. Really think about the whole baby thing, like babies and, and kids. It doesn't matter. The point it. is, there's so many. It doesn't matter if there's babies or there's old people. There's people whose I lives know, have I'm, been I'm, affected. I'm, I'm with you, Meg. I'm just saying. I think. I think when pose a question like this, people don't think about babies with it. They often just think about grown ups. But you help in both is. scenarios. You're helping. Yeah, you help in both scenarios. Yes. One is just a. It's a finite finish. It's it's a it's a you completely cure it. No, nah, I don't need the money. I want to. I want somebody's mom or sister or brother to be around longer. Would you, I guarantee would you, you won't even need man? the money. I guarantee if you find a cure for cancer, you're going to be on every news station. You're going to be on every... Everybody's going to want to interview you. People are going to like donate gonna money to you. You're going to get a Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> I guarantee disappear. you won't need the money. People that's fine. Donate I'll disappear. Them. I'll disappear if that's what it takes to make sure you can see your mom tomorrow. You can see your cousin tomorrow. But that you doesn't mean that son. it's going to make make it to the, the 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 public like that. They could change. No, but it. but that's not part of the scenario, Pat. Just like. But they could change it. it. The other scenario, you change everything about uh, treatment and make it all better. So it's way. So somebody way... can still kill you because then they get mad because now nobody need chemo. They need the pill. So the right, chemo but I think what he's can still kill you. Then, right, but I think like, what if the cure stops with you when you die versus changing the way that the medicine and all that is distributed? That's I, I, not I, what Tahir said. Well, no, he nobody's said, dying in this scenario. We improve the scenario. We just don't find the cure. So we improve treatment. We improve the medicines. We improve almost every aspect, Again. but no cure. The prolonging of it, like you might die in a year, but to like fifteen years. Mm. Well, that's a darker way of putting it, but I, th I thought <laughs> it was always an like, option. <laughs> I thought it was more like you helped, like improve all of the scenarios. Like you improved yes. chemo, you improved, you did all of that stuff. So, Dion, you're not wrong with right. it. You just you just said it a darker way, but yeah, you're not wrong. You did. It's earlier detection, so you know you might be able to like get the treatment and get it cut out and remove, and then you know you just it's it's benign. It's not it's not it's not actual. So. It's very possible. But Meg, would you rub it in people's face if they try to treat you wrong? Do you understand how I killed cancer? Huh? No. Because I, I just be thinking about people's family and how they lost somebody to cancer. Like, if for, especially for black men. Y'all are all black men. There's so many black men that have died from prostate cancer, and it's highly treatable if you catch it in time. But, like, what if you were just being, you know, a, a man, an alpha man? I don't need to go to the doctor. And next thing you know, you have stage four prostate cancer at the age of 43. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like at that point, so you may not be able to cure it in time with these new treatments that you found out. You know what I'm saying? Like Who, who's suggesting is this, man? This is dark as hell. <laughs> <laughs> who, how, how much are we treating it? I feel like we need more details of the the non-cure one. Cause if it's just like what Dion said, like it, it's one one year is becomes three, four years, mm -hmm. that might not be enough. You're just doing it for the money, Pat. You are a little greedy something. Hey, I'm the I first of all, I said cure first. And then when I started thinking of getting killed, I was like, all right, let's back up. So wait, what if you what if you take away the money factor and both of them you don't get rich in either scenario? Which one you picking then? Still still the other one. Oh, okay. Well. This past thing is the conspiracy theory part. Like, if you create this this master cure, then the other companies that are going to lose out on the millions, billions of dollars that they were using or they were they were gaining from treatment, gonna somebody's going to take you out. It's like the whole theory with the um the electric car, how it came out in like two thousand, mm -hmm. and people just buried it. And then the person who supposedly created just disappeared. So give me electric. 
They got woogie, it. Woogie, woogie. Uh, even the Cash Up dude. That's the weird is shit, a, bro. Is there a conspiracy Cash around Abdul, that? The Cash App dude got killed. The very next day, Fed Now comes out. The Fed Now is like the government's Cash App. Terrible branding, by the way. That's a yeah. Who, it, who, it, who, if if it's, it seems like I mean to the conspiracy theorists, it could seem like they tried to do a merger or buy him or acquisition. He was like, "Nah, fuck y'all. I'm making big bread." Then the very next day, he, or not very next day, but a little time later, he's dead. And then the very next day, Fed now pops out. Look at this. Yeah. In so effort, not, that this is not. This has always happened since the beginning of time. Okay, there's I somebody. People dying of overdoses, and they feel like they never did drugs. Like that's Fed. always gonna happen. But I feel like if you listen, if you can do some good, do it. Fed now is like trying to change all the money. Like basically, just use like a digital base for the money. A week ago, we found out that all of these all of these countries are backing out of buying oil from us, and now the dollar isn't the strongest uh, bill in the world. Right? It's not. No, not standard. oil. We don't. We don't give them oil. That's well, they were they we had a deal with them with something, right? With China, they were getting something from us, and now they're gonna get it from it. It basically the world was always like the US dollar was what all these countries traded instead of instead of uh China and and Brazil using their own money, like Chinese being like, here's my yuan or whatever they call it. And Brazil's like, here's my money for the our goods. They were like, let's just use US dollars okay. when we do business with each other. Now they've taken that away. And they've introduced, like, I guess the Chinese, what is it? Petro Yuan, whatever that's, Yuan, whatever they decided. Yeah, yeah they've u- decided to use that as the money that they now to trade hear, with. What you're referring to is the fact that once upon a time, our money was backed by gold, then oil, as far as guaranteed, because that way they can't just print a trillion and say, here's a trillion. They have to they have something that um, is basically worth the trillion that they can leverage the money against but that stopped a long time ago which left us vulnerable for this kind of situation to happen mm. so yeah. so just- everybody learn about digital currency because that's right. basically what's gonna happen all right i'm a miss cash man <laughs> right I'm how you miscash. gonna make it rain in the club now yeah how you gonna do a drug deal open up a briefcase you're gonna have to hold your app up and be like ha ha you see this yeah making it rain you had to scan. You had to scan her G string and be like, "There it is." All right. <laughs> I got a QR code on their titty. Uh, I, I like Dion. Is this the app though? You throwing yeah, the yeah, money yeah. up? That's sweet. You sending the money to her. There it is, right there. there, there. <laughs> but that if she's not sweet looking, as fuck though. Like if you pick the amount that you want to spend, and then you pick the denominations, like all ones, you know, you could do this a hundred times. You'd be like, "Wait, wait, okay." <laughs> Three more. <laughs> you have to wait until everybody looking. <laughs> well, you gotta wait till that third song to the G string come up. Ah, okay, yeah. I, 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 yeah. I wish funny. I wish strip clubs had a had a cover charge and all stripping was free. Like you pay five hundred dollars. That is a cover charge. I like, know I'm talking about. Like it's five hundred dollars, and now Bro. everything is just free yeah. range. You do know that the making those are tips you're making it rain. Like you paid to get in. They're gonna I know, but I'm not paying nothing. I'm not doing this in the all doing exclusive. It. No, but they're gonna strip regardless. They're, they're, they're not gonna they're not gonna They don't want, like want a buffet. He want all a buffet exclusive. strip club, okay? All, all you can exclusive. eat twenty four ninety nine. I'm coming the in there. Included? I want every yeah, you want five hundred dollar cover some, charge. And you're gonna get all the women in there like they work at a buffet. You say, well, All bro. the strippers gonna look like they work at the Golden Corral if you want that type of strip club. I guarantee you. They're gonna look like Dion. How you doing, Dion? I'm Dion. <laughs> <laughs> Dion, you just wanted to be even. Yeah, like, I'm yep, Dion. all of us, all of us paid it to get in, so we all tip hey, the same amount. Hey, you know what hurts, man? When you when you do like this, you be like, I got I got no more. Damn. I wish I <laughs> right. And they walk away. They're like, yeah. we've used you up. Thank you. Next. Your power is immediately gone. It's just like, yeah. all right, well, thanks. You're just like. <laughs> I, I'd rather have a swipe. I, you know, When you actually lose money one by one, that hurts more. When you see that shit go like, whoo, this, this is depleting. Hey, what if the strippers gave you like a receipt like at the end of dinner and you just had to sign your tip? <laughs> <laughs> That's coming. 
Bro, everywhere in Canada, every restaurant, they come up to you with an Apple Pay thing at the end. None of that, taking your card away. If mm -hmm. you got to tap on your card, you could tap the machine too. Mm -hmm. They they not own that shit. Like they and then yeah. their cash is like indestructible, which is right. dope. What? Like it's like what do you, you mean it's indestructible. Like, like you can't rip it. You can't rip it. You can't get it wet. It's like plastic. It, it's, it's like, like a plastic you know, paper mix. Yeah. It's clear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's like, like clear. Like, like some of them is like clear. And it's, yeah. yeah. So that if you get a bunch of them, you can just see through them. It was sweet as hell. Like, you know what I'm saying? Whoa. Okay. Yeah, they, got, they, got some, they got some dope ass shit up there. I still don't agree with them like selling milk in bags in the grocery store, but you know, teachers yep. all. Wait, That's why? What's milk. wrong with that? It's just, it's just like weird. it's just a bag. It's just a fucking bag of milk. It's not but it takes a, it probably a takes up less space. What's the difference of the container? Who cares? I don't know. It just doesn't look as durable to me. I I don't trust milk out of a bag. Why? Because you can't eat the bag like you eat the cardboard. I can eat the bag if I wanted to. Oh, so then you shouldn't have a problem with it. Shut CP, up. do you have a dollar? I don't have no Canadian dollars on me right now. I got all oh. American. Mm -hmm. Nah, I just, I just, you get more <laughs> respect with, with with an American 20. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm going to tell you some real shit. An American 20 has the tip already in it, right? Because $20 is like $33 to them. Mm -hmm. So you give them a 20, they see a 20, but they know that they're getting the extras. And so it's pretty yeah. dope. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Canada, it's just like, you know, their money is sweet, but I don't want Oh, so you haven't like done, you haven't switched, uh, did any foreign exchange? I've switched some a little bit, but not, I don't, I don't really do a lot of cash stuff. And so I don't want to get stuck with a bunch of cash. And then I leave. I do everything digitally for the most part. Yeah. And when you swipe your debit or credit, that's automatic. That, that automatically transfers, it's right? Converted, automatically right? converted, yeah. too. So yeah. like, I'll, I'll swipe something. I remember I bought some shoes. And my man was like, yeah, these is like 250. And then I'm like, all right. And then I fucking like did the transfer and they came out to like 170. I was like, dumb motherfucker. Got you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> dumb ass nigga. <laughs> 177. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then you had a fee for like foreign exchange fee. You was like, ha ha. No. Nah. on you. No, no. See, look at you. Just kind of had a joke on me. No, that's not okay. Congratulations on your UN taking over the world, Meg. We appreciate <laughs> that. But us over here with the dollar are struggling. <laughs> Let's put it to a vote, man. What are we going with? Uh, cure cancer for free or make it significantly better and get rich? Free. Cure cancer. Free. 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 Because you, you, you got to remember, you might fuck around and get it too. So then, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Nobody's exempt. Ready Nobody's to go. Exempt. Yeah, fuck that. I'm good. What you got? I'll I'll put, and if somebody I'll find out it. that you had the option to do this, you're like, nigga, you had an option to cure cancer? And you took the fucking money? <laughs> <laughs> I'll cure it. Okay. Yeah, cure Pat, it. you better you cure it. We all gonna die. <laughs> all right, let's jump into this last topic right after this. Last topic of the day, we have, would you rather be born in the year 2000 Versus your original birth date. Original. Mm -hmm. So wait, like if we were like in 2000, then we'd be 23 this year. Mm -hmm. That's or, that's too late. I feel like when you were born in the 2000s, you were born in like a whole bunch of weird stuff that, that's your norm, like social media and stuff. Like, yes. I like the fact that I got to see the progression, like social, see everything yeah. change. Because I think it, it low-key changed for the better, but it mostly changed for the worse. So <laughs> I think we got to grow up the right way and now we get to adapt. Whereas if you were born in the year 2000, you were thrown into a lot of stuff. Like you don't even remember. Yeah, that, that means you graduated high school in 2018. You, pandemic you're year. a young adult and the, during the pandemic, like that sucks. Okay. You didn't get to go nowhere for like three years. That's pure. That's prime party time. You don't even remember what? like before TSA and September 11th like your mm -hmm. norms are just like even stuff that we don't even realize is a new norm for us is just their history nah, that's I never got to play outside you don't know what a, a regular tele landline telephone works you don't know how it works yeah I think that we saw stuff get more convenient but we also understood why it was more convenient like 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 right. like y'all said we saw the cord phone and then we had the cordless phone. I was like, damn, we have phones with no caller ID. And then we have phones with caller ID, which was dope. We had a lot of stuff. Like we appreciate shit more than I think mm. people 
don't understand what this shit is about. Like, I feel like we were born in a right space because we seen a, a quick, dramatic change yep. in technology evolution. Like now I feel like it's slowing down because we're like the technology starting to catch up with what can possibly be done. Like no, seven- it's not. It's a whole different. These kids are now using AI to write papers. Exactly. Oh, that means they don't know how to write papers. <laughs> but, do you, but do you need it if if the future is moving to AI? Like right. That's, 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 that's the problem. The convenience like, is making you don't know us know do, less shit. You don't know how to do nothing. But then it's like, wait. If now society changes to where you just ask AI something and it tells you everything. Is that is that bad for you? Yeah, no, no, if that's the skills. whole society. But what's the thing? Skills, but now those good. skills become obsolete. You don't need those right. skills anymore. So right. how can can I be you mad at them for that? But but look though, everything that's artificial, like we kind of we kind of grew up like gluing ourselves to like synthetic shit. Like for example, if women bald headed, they can get artificial hair and put it on their head. They wear it like it's real hair, but it's artificial. All the only thing is that it's not real artificial intelligence means that you can literally purchase some intelligence and have that intelligence be at a level where you can use it at all time imagine having like a siri for life and you just ask siri, siri what's eight times nine divided by six and she just tells you that's yeah. artificial intelligence that it's like man these kids they don't even have to think anymore which means yeah. that they could do doper shit than think yeah like really? college isn't uh it isn't it doesn't have the same allure or right. the same uh, necessity that our parents put on us growing up, because right. it was, you know, it was back in that time. It was like you have to go to college to get a good yeah. job. That was the only yeah. way people were hiring based on your degree level, your education level. Now you this on YouTube now. Millionaires off of playing games, off of YouTube, off of making videos. Like it's so many more options to where, like, I, I when my daughter was like in eleven. 11th, 12th grade, going to, going to the 12th. And I was asking her about college and she wasn't excited. She didn't seem interested in any of that type of stuff. Like for a moment, I was like, what do you mean you don't want to go to college? Like, you know, how do you don't want to go to HBCU? But it's like, if you can learn everything you need to learn off the internet and you can get a job from home, making, starting at $50,000, $75,000, who am I to like pressure you to go to college and, and, and get something more? Like college is supposed to prepare you for the real world. She missed two years of the real world during a pandemic. She could still, she still was able to graduate on time. She actually graduated early. She can learn any and everything she needs to from the internet. So why press that up on her to do? But you actually selling the idea of born in two thousand now. Then, as in, like you can have a five year old billionaire right now. That's true. I'm, 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 I'm just playing devil's advocate for it. I'm just, I'm just showing. I mean, like, I mean, it, it's. People, it's- there there's pros and cons to each because if you think about i was just reading this article about this doctor who said like they were using um the ai to like kind of diagnose some some disorder so he said you know he 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 what he did was he put like all the papers all the all the okay this is what's wrong with the patient they have this 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 to see if the ai could figure out what this um disease was that this patient had and he said the disease was like one in one hundred thousand, right so it's very rare he said it took him years of research to understand that that rare um disease and he said it took that ai like less than a minute to this figure out because he, he's, he's already done the research so he's already like, done the research so, he, so what's, he's google what's the, searching it that's what i'm saying so now if everything's already out there like is it bad that now nobody has to be a critical thinker well, I feel like with AI, you need critical thinkers behind it to to check it. You know, like if everybody just didn't know anything, like imagine a hospital was ran by just people who knew how to work the AI and then something went wrong or something turned off and you don't have people with that knowledge to either fix it when it was broken or down or if something was messed up, like you kind of need people still who know what they're doing to drive. But everything. you don't need that many people. Think about that. You it, you need a whole hospital filled with doctors, nurses, everybody to right. make these diagnoses. If, th- if that's the case, you really only need like five people. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. What, every, what is everybody else doing? I guess in this in this world in this scenario, what what jobs do people get? Trade. Now? You can't fix yeah. a, a a pipe. You can't fix a toilet with with a 
you know, with AI. Unless you, um, yeah, yeah, unless you get a robot that could do it. Yeah, I think they're going to be, I think there's going to be an option in the near future to, especially in healthcare, be seen by a real person and also be treated by AI or, you know, some, some form of artificial intelligence uh, robots or machinery like you can get in an emergency room like oh you can wait eight hours to see the doctor or you can do the virtual nurse and they will diagnose you and then they will prescribe something once it's approved by the doctor and that's a two-hour wait if you can look you know, at an eight-hour window and a two-hour window how many people are going to go to that virtual nurse because like the virtual nurse will make that. a diagnosis i know but now, Meg, like I went to when I had my last flare up of diverticulitis, I went to the the uh, the emergency room and I was in there for seven hours before I was seen. And I was in so much pain. I, I just left. I just wanted to be at home. If I had an option to go to the virtual doctor and they could diagnose what it was, because all I needed was the medication. I knew what it was at that point. But because it took so long, I just went home and I had to go back the next day. But a virtual nurse could have diagnosed what it was. And I could have had my medicine and started the treatment that night. That's what I'm talking about. They could have helped you pass them hot dogs quicker. But but hold on though, hold on though. I mean, yeah, that, that's <laughs> Pat got it. Ben, Don't give that to her, Pat. Hey, Pat, high five. <laughs> there's also there's also AI in the in in the regard of like imagine this, imagine a kiosk at the at the hospital in the ER, right, like an ATM. You go up to the kiosk and they ask you for three or four different biometric choices, right? You can put your finger in there, let it prick you. You can um, do a saliva swab, put it into the thing, or you could pour a fucking piss test into a thing. Anyway, you do that at the kiosk. It runs the, the fucking diagnosis. You go sit down, you get a text on your phone telling you what the fuck is wrong with you. That's clutch. Yeah, but you still need to see somebody. Yeah. I mean, what? Currently, well, that's, that's what a checks and balance it would be. You would have, you still have to have like a level of doctors or nurses that are educated enough or qualified to sign off on the AI's diagnosis. I'm telling but you, it's gonna get if, to the if point that's where all they're doing. That. Yeah, if that's all they're doing, they sign off on it. Okay, this all checks out. Boom, they send the prescription to the pharmacy. All you got to do is go over there and get your shit. Now you in and out of the hospital in less than an hour. That should and be, you know, you, you do know doctors have been doing this for a while. It's just not the AI version, which is, I remember when I was at Kaiser in Cali, the doctor would literally type in, okay, this is what's wrong with her. Mm. These are her vitals. And then a whole list of diagnoses would come up. And based yeah. on what I said was wrong with me, they would just be like, okay, this is what you have. And I was thinking like, what? Didn't I just do that online? If you were that's just, like, like low just level, stuff. I, I feel, yeah, I feel yeah. like that's, that's like low level. That's why when you call somebody or a, a, a business, they have like all the first 10, 15 questions automated because that filters out all the low level questions. But at some point, you need to talk to somebody. So I think that when you're talking about like getting the initial diagnosis, or even like how McDonald's is having automated like people in the front, you still need a cook, you still need a surgeon. like. I feel no, like the, not the, ma the manual labor not stuff the will be taken yeah, not over. I feel you on everything. I mean, for right. now, not but again, need, it's going to get to the point where you don't control. need none of that. You don't, you're not going to need none of that. It's not, you're not going to, you need like one human to the entire McDonald's restaurant and they just That's make it. sure that That's all the AI is doing but not better. Me. But Meg, you're right though. No, but Pat, think about this though. Imagine if, Okay, they have an automated system, and then they have a system that's automated to watch the automated system. So, like, all you need is cameras and like certain <clears throat> mechanisms, right? Oh, wait, it's a burger stuck in the patty thing. I can mm -hmm. see it. All right, get that bitch. Get, get that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want nobody cooking my food. I would love an AI cooked burger. I don't want people. Do you understand the level of intelligence and emotional distress that's in McDonald's workers and they're just making your burgers? But you're what talking you about fast food. What about a restaurant? Oh, right. Yeah, okay, Would you yeah. want that's like a, a the, robot the to make thing. your steak at a steakhouse or you something? Have a waitress. So look, no, I'm you don't need none of that. It's not that hard because the steak is temperature. The steak is like the steak has to be pink in the middle. Imagine you're at the table. And you could watch your steak cook on like a video feed and you could just turn it off. It's done. Bring it to me. Mm. Imagine being able to tell the AI how much seasoning to put on your shit. You just what if you don't know? There's so much, there's so much things that humans kind of need to be at least a part of. Mm -hmm. 
I think for right that, now, I bet, but 10, 15 years from now, no. Yeah, that's why you I'm say saying what's gonna happen though. <laughs> the more the more robots and, and AI become a part of our society, the more expensive the human interaction and experience is gonna become. So if people stop going to college as much and they start doing stuff online more, that's going to make tuition go up because they still have to keep the doors open. They're going to have to still have the maintenance. So whereas the the the, the college tuition was, let's say, $7,000 per semester, that's going to go up to like 20 because they got to get I would say it would money. be the opposite to here. I don't think so. I don't because yeah, you're thinking about be here. People. You think about students still wanting to be on campus. There's really no need to be on campus. They can move online. They can move. You know what I'm saying? Like because mm -hmm. because now professors are AI. Mm -hmm. you That's know what I'm wild. Saying? That's wild. Yeah. <laughs> Pat, you remember when we were we were we were doing damn and then that you scary at your like first spot, and mm -hmm. I was like, yo, YouTube should just have a university. They should have like people who are qualified to create the curriculum do like 30 courses, 30 classes for certification or something like that. And you can get certified in that field or in that, that lane by YouTube because these people are certified enough to teach. And I saw something about YouTube university not too long ago. Yeah, like, I saw that's that a too. Real thing. Ooh, you know, it'd be a dope rebuttal if they do an AI book report or an essay. What if the teachers took that same report and say, is this AI generated? So they'll let the people know like, yo, you had created this online. They'll do like a back backdoor analysis. Like, yo, you, you no, they already, they did that. I, I saw an article about that where the kid, cause they started, the kids started doing that. Got and caught. all the kids uh, report was so similar because they all use like, oh, I think chat true. AI or whatever. And so the teacher was like, why is everybody's stuff the same? It's cause they all use the same website and they all got in trouble. Yeah. Dang. But that's what kids are going to start doing. But you know what? The only the premium is going to come on innovation, new things, because all these chat AI things are are getting information that's already out there. I don't think I think there's like, for example, what Pat does, Pat creates shows, right, that haven't been created before. I don't know if AI will do that because they're gathering information of things that have already been done or a script. That'd be wild. Hey, write me a script about a, a turtle that was. They actually did. They oh, already yeah, do that. They did that. You yeah. can do that. This yeah, guy entered in. Formula. He entered in some characters and a plot and all of that, and the AI generated a whole script. And they was they were talking about how much easier it is and how many steps he didn't have to do by doing this. It's bro, when that shit hit, and it felt like it just started hitting like a couple months ago, but when it hit, it was like wildfire how fast this shit spread to every like nobody's safe nobody's safe it started with the graphic shit now there's the speeches now it's scripts bro nobody's job is safe bro born Man. in 2000 <laughs> <laughs> nah, we're Ford always magazine at age 12 like hey <laughs> uh let's put it to a vote cp what you going with um what was the option Born uh in the uh, year two thousand or born in your original birthday? Got it. I'm a I'm a I'm a um I'm gonna be born in my original birthday. Yes, because yeah. nineteen seventy four was a great year, wasn't it? <laughs> so funny. Meg has been on all goddamn day. Yes, we've is. been all respectful. Oh, I miss, Meg is I only miss with my jazz. brothers. <laughs> I miss y'all. I miss. We miss you yeah, too, we've been Meg. all respectful this Pat? episode. <laughs> Huh? You have y'all have been really nice to me. I thought I was gonna catch some more uh, arrows, but y'all been nice. Wow, been nice. It's all good. It's what you got, Pat? Man, I'm gonna keep my original birthday. I'm doing the same, Meg. Wait, Pat, you're gonna keep your birthday of 1999? <laughs> you might as well say 2000. Wait, one more year. She just I called me my younger. original birthday. <laughs> <laughs> she just called you seven months younger as a did that cracked up about it. <laughs> it's like, damn, man. Okay. I'm, I'm what going, about you, I'm, man? I'm keeping my birth year. I'm going to You keep her year. Year of, the, year of the dragon, aka year of the shoulder. <laughs> Y'all niggas gonna make me <laughs> release the dragon. I don't think you really want to. The year of the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Di, what you going with? Born in year two thousand. I do it. Are you really going to switch up? Not okay. some hands. You would be so he lost. Some hair. He just want hair right now. That's all. He like. Yeah. 
move me up. I, I want to grow around 2030. <laughs> I want to. I want to be the young Jack. I want to be the young Jack. Hey, who was this nigga? Twelve year old genius. He knows young so much Jack. Shit. I feel like young you would still act like old you. Like, hey guys, yeah. what's up? Anybody listening to Yeet? Yeah. <laughs> Any- <laughs> right. Anybody want a raw meat pan? smoothie? <laughs> raw meat smoothie. How was how is Allen Iverson not, not capitalizing off of AI? Like, why is he not the face of AI right now? <laughs> Nigga, they don't want his ass on there. <laughs> that happened too long ago. Yeah, yeah. it's about intelligence. <laughs> now, uh, 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 we saw what you did with your money, bucko. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want no ringless. <laughs> now, nah, look, when they come out with artificial incarceration, they could be like, hey, I, 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 I. damn. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon, man. He well, just listen, got out. Man, Damn, man. Watching another episode of Squadcast versus shout out to the OG Squad, Meg Scoop, Patrick Cloud, CP. Shout out to our special guest, Dion Leck. And shout out to y'all for watching as well. We'll see you on the next episode of Squadcast versus. Peace, guys. Peace.